हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड व्यूवर्स वॉम वेलकम टू साइंस कैप्सूल अ परफेक्ट सेल्फ लर्निंग टूल फॉर स्कूल चिल्ड्रेन डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू मे बी फाइंडिंग इट वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड द टॉपिक्स ऑफ क्लास नाइन साइंस इफ सो नो वरी साइंस कैप्सूल इज ऑलवेज देयर टू हेल्प यू आउट द ओनली थिंग यू नीड टू डू इज जस्ट वॉच ईच एंड एवरी वीडियो टिल द एंड आई एम श्योर दैट यू विल एंड अप विद एन ऑफ लर्निंग एंड यू विल बिल्ड कॉन्फिडेंस इन द सब्जेक्ट साइंस so in the previous episode we have been discussing about matter in our surrounding in that we have discussed what is matter and matter is made up of particles like that we have seen if you have not watched those videos then click the i button and also you will find it in the description box so moving further today we will learn the most important topic of the first chapter that is the characteristic properties of the particles of matter so in the previous episode we have learned that each and every matter that exist in the universe are made up of particles before that we must know the important characteristics of the particles of matter because the matter is made up of these particles so about the characteristic we, we must know so in today's session we are going to see all those things so this video is going to be very informative so watch till the end of this video if you found it useful then like share comment on this video if new to this channel then subscribe this channel and press bell icon so that you won't miss any of my uploads so let us start so in this chapter we are discussing about only the physical nature of particle as far as the characteristics of particles of matter is concerned there are three important characteristics that we have to learn the first characteristic is the particles of matter have space between them look at the screen here an activity in this activity i have used a beaker 3/4 full of water in which sugar is being added on stirring what happens so sugar is a substance which can dissolve in water and after stirring it the sugar particles disappeared where do the sugar particles go between the water molecules there exist spaces the sugar particles on dissolution what happens the minute the tiny particles get trapped between the spaces available in the water molecules so this way the sugar particles disappeared now we know that whenever an object is lowered in water then the level of water will rise in our activity you can see very well that after adding sugar the level of water remain constant that means the level of water remain unchanged which shows that the sugar particles get trapped between the spaces available in the water molecules so from this activity it is clear that the matter have space between them the same activity you can also perform at home here in this case i have used sugar you can use any other substance which can dissolve in water you can notice whether the level of water rises or not the second most important characteristics of particles of matter is the particles of matter are continuously moving to understand this we will do another activity here in this case i have taken a beaker 3/4 full of water in which i am going to add few drops of colored substance see here before adding colored substance the water is quite stable you cannot see the movement of particles here right so we can see here that the movement of particles are negligible but after adding few drops of colored substance you can see that the colored substance go beneath along with this you can see the colored substances are moving throughout the solution if you keep the liquid undisturbed then you will find that after some time of its own entire solution entire water becomes colored from this we can understand that the particles of matter are continuously moving if the particles would have not moved continuously then the colored substance would have floated somewhere over the surface of water but here after keeping it for some time at rest of its own all the colored substances are dissolved or mixed throughout the water this shows that the particles of matter are continuously moving got it children 
just before we have seen continuous movement of particles in liquid let us see how the continuous movement takes place in case of gaseous medium you are very much familiar with the incense stick right when the incense stick is lighted and kept at the corner even if you are at several meters the smell of incense stick reaches you how could it reach it is because of the continuous movement of gaseous particles when the incense stick is lighted then smoke is produced in the smoke you will find the particles of incense stick due to the characteristic of the particles of matter which move continuously the smell of incense stick reaches even if you are at several meters away from the incense stick from this we can understand that the particles of matter are continuously moving the movement of particles may be at different rates but we can see the continuous movement of particles in every matter the third characteristic is the particles of matter attract each other we know that every matter is made up of particles right how these particles are arranged in a matter whether these particles are glued to one another no children these particles are arranged in a matter by means of force of attraction they are held together by means of attractive force this attractive force is called interparticle force of attraction or intermolecular force of attraction this intermolecular force of attraction is different for different types of matter let us understand this intermolecular force of attraction in different matter for example here i have taken an iron nail chalk and a stick if you try to cut each one of these then you will be successful in breaking chalk very easily whereas you will find it difficult to break iron nail why do you find it difficult to cut iron nail because the particles of iron nail are closely held by strong intermolecular force of attraction whereas even on simple stretch you can easily break chalk right which shows that the particles of chalk are held together by weak intermolecular force of attraction so from this we can understand that intermolecular force of attraction is one of the most important characteristic property which decides the nature of matter so that's all we have for today if you found this video useful then like share comment on this video if you are new to this channel subscribe this channel and press bell icon see you all on another day with a new video till then take good care of yourself bye